Hey everyone, Erin here from Real Wig Fun. Thanks so much for joining me. So I have a number of brand new styles from Belle Tress and we're gonna look at two of them today. And this is Belle Tress's Twix and I have Twix in Tre Leche Blonde. But if this one is a little bit too much and too long for you, you may want to stick around and see the comparison to Belle Tress's Amber Rock, which I also have in Tre Leche Blonde. First, I want to thank my friends from Wigs by Patty's Pearls for supplying these wigs so I could do a review for you today. I understand how challenging it can be at times ordering wigs online. And if you're anything like me, when I started out on my wig journey, I would scour the internet for all the reviews that I could get my hands on before making a decision. And perhaps you've experienced what I had, which is, you know what, we get that wig home, we open it up, we're so excited to put it on our head and we put it on and we go, oh my gosh, I didn't expect it to look like this straight out of the box. So what I've started to incorporate is video portions of the wigs that I'm reviewing straight out of the box. And I hope that that helps you to give you an idea of what you should expect when you get that wig home and what, if anything, I've done to get it to the point of review ready. So with that in mind, I'm going to post here um, some film on unboxing of both Twix and the unboxing portion of Amber Rock so that you can see what both of these beauties look like straight out of the box. So was that helpful? If it was, drop it in the comments below. I'd love to know if you're enjoying this unboxing portion of my reviews. But why don't we jump into Belle Tress's Twix and then we'll take a look at Amber Rock in just a moment. But you know what? This is a unique curl pattern for Belle Tress. Belle Tress is really well known for their beachy waves, but this curl pattern is definitely different than what we've seen in the past. It's sort of that crimped curl. It's sort of a blend between a crimp and a curl. 
You may also have noticed through the unboxing, I was really careful about not disturbing these fibers. I did not comb it out. Instead, I used my, my fingers and my hands because I think what you'll find with this style is if you were to comb it out um, a lot, it's just going to get bigger. And for my petite frame, I think keeping it as condensed and under control as possible is be the best fit for me. But perhaps you love that huge, beautiful, voluminous hair. And if you do, then perhaps you would enjoy combing it out. All right, let's talk about Twix though. Okay, so Twix, as I mentioned, is a brand new style from Beltress. It comes from their cafe collection, which means that it's made out of Beltress's heat defiant synthetic fibers. So you can apply heat to this. You could straighten it if you wished. You could curl it and provide, you know, a different curl pattern if this isn't something that you wanted to live with long term. Um, so I do like the flexibility of being able to apply heat to this style. But to be perfectly honest, I know personally, I would have a hard time replicating this crimped curl pattern. So applying heat to this one, unless I'm straightening it, is going to be a little bit challenging if my goal is to maintain this exact curl pattern. So Twix has a lace front and it's an extended lace front. And I'm gonna get up close to show you because I think that the, um, hairline on this particular piece is done really well. And in part, it's due to that extended lace, meaning the lace is going all the way into the ear tabs. So if you were to pull this style back off your face, you're not getting that harsh transition between the lace and the cap itself. So I think the hairline is done really, really well. It is a left-handed monofilament part that you may have seen in the unboxing. It did come in a zigzag pat pattern and I just used my pick comb to create that more natural hairline, or sorry, more natural parting space. You may have seen that I had a little bit of challenge of separating the lengths on this fiber when I was looking to do my part, but nothing that was really uh, a concern. As far as the lengths on Twix, the side sections here are 13 to 14 inches. The nape, which is the bottom of the neck down, is nine and a half inches. Overall, this wig is a long 17.5 um, inches, and then it weighs 6.6 .6 ounces, which is on the heavier side for a wig, but considering the amount of hair length and volume, um, it's about average. All right, I'm gonna do a turn so that you can see Twix on all sides. So clearly, this is my front. This is my right side, the back, my left side, and then back to the front. So both of these styles I'm showing you today, I have in Tre Leche Blonde, and it has become one of my favorite Beltress blondes. And it's very similar in my opinion, if you are familiar with Raquel Welch's Shaded Sand, um, I think that this Tre Leche Blonde is very similar to Raquel Welch's Shaded Sand, which I also love. So it is a rooted shade. It's got a medium gold brown root, and then it's a blend of three different blondes. You've got Honey Blonde, you've got Golden Blonde, and Ash Blonde. So I, I always love a dynamic shade, meaning it's got multiple shades within it. I think it reads really naturally and I, I love this one. Let's take a look at Amber Rock, which in essence is just a shorter version of Twix. All right, so I'm back and this is Amber Rock, which as I mentioned, it's just a shorter version of Twix. The cap construction is the same, the fiber is the same, the only difference is the length. I guess I should say the other difference is the weight. So Amber Rock comes in at 5.4 ounces. And then the lengths on this piece, you've got the sides that are 11 and a half to 13 inches. The nape is seven inches. And then all over this wig ranges between 11 and a half to 13 and a half inches. So for me personally, Amber Rock is just more manageable. I don't think it overtakes me as I was finding with Twix. Um, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous style. So why don't I do a turn so that you can see this on all sides. So this is my right side. 
and the back. My left side. And then back to the front. As I mentioned, the caps on both of these styles are identical. So I'm gonna take Amber Rock off and show you the inside of the cap, but I'm gonna get up really close so that you can see that crimpy wave pattern that we see on both of these styles, okay? I'm gonna turn it inside out so I can show you the cap features. And there you go, that is that left-handed monofilament part and the extended lace. I am so pleased to see that Beltress is doing more of these extended laces into the ear tab. It just, it's so much better as far as creating that natural hairline. And then you've got felt covered ear tabs. That's what you're grabbing when you adjust your wig when you first put it on. And then you've got wefted sides and back. And then there is an extended nape, which I really like. Um, they have Velcro adjusters. Beltress uses, uh, sorry, not Velcro, bra strap like adjusters like you can see here. So you can adjust those out and in. As you can see, it's on its furthest, largest point. So if you have a smaller head circumference than myself, you simply pull these in. It's the same thing as tightening your belt. It's going to make this cap smaller on you to fit your, your head circumference. You know what, I'd love to hear from you. Which one do you prefer, Amber Rock or Twix? For me, I think it's Amber Rock. And as always, if you're interested in any of the styles that I wear, you can head over to wigsbypattiespearls.com. Stay well, stay safe, have a great day, everybody.